Hello friends, today our topic is work. A force is said to do work if when acting there is displacement of the point of application in the direction of force. In short, work is said to be done or a force is said to, to do work if we apply a force to any object and that object displaced some distance, then work is said to be done. Unit of work is uh, kilogram meter square per second square and commonly it is known as joule mathematically work is the product of force and displacement but actually force is a dot product of force and displacement that you will study in plus one class here I will provide you the some introduction of a plus one class work in ninth class so here you can see the uh, work is the product of force dot product of force and displacement if we solve the dot product of force and displacement it will become work is equal to fs cos of theta so now theta is the angle between force and displacement so let us take the some examples because the, the this theta is the main important thing which decide the types of work so first of all let us see what are the types of work are uh, first one is the first type of work is positive work work is said to be positive uh, if we apply a force to any object and that object displays some distance in that uh, direction of force applied uh, that we'll uh, discuss later on so work can be classified as a positive work negative work and zero work done so let us take the uh, positive negative and zero one by one here so first of all what is positive work so work is said to be positive if we apply a force to an object and that object move in uh, the direction of force applied let us uh, take the example let us suppose this person is uh, pushing the uh, pushing a cart here so now this person is applying the force to this cart in uh, this direction here and uh, displacement is also in the direction of uh, force applied here so in this case the angle between force and displacement is zero degree so therefore we will put in the formula w is equal to fs cos of zero degree so as we know cos is a trigonometric function and uh, its a uh, value at zero degree is one so therefore after solving this we have w is equal to f into s so in case of positive work done the direction of force applied and displacement both are in same direction therefore angle between force and displacement is zero degree so this is an example of positive work done in our daily life most of the activities are the example of positive work done for example if you are uh, pulling something you you are pushing something if you are holding anything else if you are uh, uh, doing a lot of activities in your daily life so most of the activities are the examples of a positive work done so remember this thing the main point is the direction between force and displacement or direction of force and displacement the direction of force and displacement in case of positive work done is always in the same direction therefore angle between force and displacement displacement will be zero degree so in case of positive work done angle between force and displacement is zero degree let us uh, take now negative work done work is said to be negative if we apply a force to an object and that object move in the opposite direction of force applied so here in case of a negative work done the angle between force and displacement become 180 degree you can see let us suppose that we have an object here we are applying a force f to this object in this direction from left to right but this object move or displace some distance uh, in opposite direction to the force applied that is left to right to left so in this case the angle between force and displacement is 180 degree here and we know the value of cos 180 degree is minus 1 therefore uh, finally w is equal to minus f of s so here this is an example of a negative work done so in our daily life we have a, a lot of activities in which we are uh, doing something and that work done is negative for example you are trying to uh, pull or push or stop a car a moving car so you know a car has a greater force and the force applied by you is less force therefore you will move in the direction of uh, motion of car but car will not move in the direction of force applied by you so in this case the uh, 
angle between force and displacement become 180 degree and uh, hence it become a uh, an example of a negative work done let us take another example of negative work done is a uh, frictional force the work done by frictional force is always negative because we know frictional force is a retarding force it act always opposite to the direction of motion so work done by the frictional force is also negative work done now next is positive work done sorry zero work done uh, work is said to be zero if we apply a force to an object and that object moves uh, or does not move it may be move or does not move or move in the uh, direction of perpendicular to the direction of force applied so in short uh, we have three possible situations of zero work done first is if you are applying the force to any object and that object does not move for example this one here here this one uh, person trying to uh, push this uh, load here and force is from it is in the direction left to right here but let us suppose there is no displacement in this uh, in this case so here displacement done by the person is zero here zero meter so therefore total work done will become zero so this is the first case of a zero work done so work can also be zero if you are not applying a force so in, the, in that case uh, force is zero and uh, work done also zero and the third case if you are applying a force to any object and that object move in upward direction for example you are holding a bag in this case uh, you are holding a bag force is applied by your body is in upward direction but uh, let us suppose you are not moving therefore displacement is zero so it is a zero work done in second one case let us suppose you are walking or moving or running in that in that case the force applied by you is in upward direction and displacement is in forward direction so therefore angle between force and displacement is 90 degree here so therefore we will put in the formula w is equal to fs cos 90 degree and cos 90 degree is zero therefore work is equal to zero so we have three cases here of zero work done first is uh, if there is no displacement second is if there is no force applied and third is if there is a angle between force and displacement is at, at a 90 degree so these are the uh, some examples of zero work done let us take another example of zero work done the work done by necessary centripetal force is always zero here earth earth is continuously rotating around the sun so therefore a uh, force which is acting towards the center that is a gravitational force is here centripetal force and uh, the displacement of earth rotation is in upward or forward direction so therefore angle between force and displacement is here 90 degree so this one is the second one example of a zero work done so dear friends today we have learnt about uh, work types of work positive negative and uh, zero work done and uh, some uh, examples of positive negative and uh, zero work done so thanks for watching